This is another question that one of the viewers asked, and I never had a problem with this, never dealt with it, but I'm going to provide you with an opinion on how you can make the repair or possibly prevent your stairs from falling apart if they are moving somehow. And the first thing I want to point out is that we need to keep the connection tight at the top, whether it's a deck or the stairs are attached to a house or a porch, because I don't think you want to be walking up the stairs and then have this pull apart an inch or two if that is the case. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how the stringer can be connected at the top and that could be through a ledger that is going to be nailed to some type of framing members and of course the nails that would be coming through the treads also are going to create a nice connection at the top and again this is not the area we're going to be focusing on. Instead we're going to be focusing on the bottom. And this is standard construction. You have a stair stringer that's sitting on top of a piece of treated lumber and then the treated lumber is sitting on top of concrete. And if it was just sitting on top of the soil then I don't think you would need to worry about this because it's going to move without any problems. And I drew this with the assumption that if the stair stringers move and they're toenailed into the base plates then it could pull up and separate from the framing plate. Again, just a suggestion of what could happen if there is enough force created to separate the stringers from either the top or the bottom. So let's go ahead and put everything back together and take a look at my first suggestion, and that would be some type of a slot notched into all of the framing plates where they are attached to the concrete foundation so that if there was any movement, it would allow the stairs to move in either direction without creating enough pressure to rip the stairs apart at the top or the bottom. And I'm not entirely sure that this will be enough. You might need to create some type of a frictionless connection at the bottom, and that might require you to apply grease or something to the bottom of the framing plate. And again, I'm just thinking out loud, don't shoot the messenger here, because I could see this stuff getting stuck and not moving. And of course, another thing you would need to do would be to keep all of the washers and the nuts loose so that the framing plates will move with the stairs if needed. So that's one method there having everything connected to the framing plates and then having the framing plates move. Now this suggestion might require a little more work, but we're going to separate the stringers from the framing plates or not permanently attach them with nails or screws so that they can move and again, this is going to have the same principle. We're going to have some type of a slot cut into a metal bracket that will allow the stairs to move if they need to. So again, another idea. However, this one here seems like it might be a little more difficult than something like this. But again, that could depend upon your project. So another thing I would like to point out is that you should have the framing plates moved a little further back so that you don't end up with a situation like this. And of course, if you are going to use risers, you're going to want to make sure that the framing plate isn't going to force the riser away from the stringer if the riser was nailed over the framing plate. And hopefully that makes sense because that is the end of my suggestions and the end of the video. And again, keep in mind that I've never dealt with this problem before and I'm just kind of throwing this out there. If you have a better suggestion, then feel free to leave it in the video comment area so everyone can take a look at it. And if I think it's a good enough suggestion, I will make another video and link it to this video also.